thanks for an ICA like this to uh, we'll celebrate what used to be a crime, but now we have freedom to celebrate what is criminal in the past. But I'm thankful that the country we have freedom to enjoy ourselves on a Saturday afternoon, whether it's freedom of speech, whether it's freedom of religion. It's so wonderful to live in a country that has these freedoms, protects these freedoms. Today, just take a few minutes of your time, maybe to encourage you to give thanks to God. God is good. God, God is the judge, judge of all the earth. So the psalmist would say, praise be the Lord. Praise be the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the soul, soul through the heart. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instrument and organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Oh, and praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. Let everything has breath. Praise be the Lord. His name is Jesus the Christ. He's the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Maybe you know him, maybe you don't. The King of the world is a sinner. Well, I may be the chief of sinners, but 20 years ago, he found me out. He rescued me from the death of my sin. Now, how can I keep silent about him? But he saved me from the power of sin, from the shame of sin, from the guilt of sin. He did a work which only God could do. He did a work which only God could do. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Sorry. It's not a matter of going to church, reading your Bible, preaching on a sidewalk. Salvation is of God. And how wonderful it is that God would do such a work for a sinner like me. So where we are in the walk of life, where are you in your walk today? You might consider who's greater than we are. Who is it that gave you that blue sky right there? Not one man on earth could make a sky like that, a sky you can see through. Not one man could make a blue that blue. You can see through blue. It's all of God. He's the altar of light. In God, you live and breathe and exist. When's the last time you gave him thanks? God gives you life and breath and being and everything else. When's the last time you thanked him? If you didn't, if you didn't give thanks to your waiter, you'd be considered rude. Then when's the last time you give thanks to God who gives you breath? A life of being. The psalmist says we should praise the Lord. Praise the Lord at all times. It's praise to be continued in our mouth. Coming today to tell us about Jesus Christ. He's just not just the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings and the Prince of Peace. He's the Savior of sinners. He's the Savior of sinners. He saves his people from their sin. And today, if you be free from your sin, there's power in the blood of Jesus. No matter what your sins are. He came down from heaven to do what no man can do. Save someone like me from the power of sin. He laid aside riches in glory. He became poor on our behalf. So we might become the riches of God's glory. We might be reconciled to God himself. That's what God did out of love. God so loved the world, the Bible says. He gave his only begotten son. Whoever believed in him have eternal life, not perish. I, 
I get your opinion, but I'm, 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 I'm not going to board it because of your opinion. I'm not giving you one. The one that says I can be heard up 100 feet from the end of the car. Pardon? Come in close to the gift. Well, if you give me a citation, I will. Right, right. Yeah. But you have to give it to this. So the trespass would be a trespass on public property. It, it, it would be trespassing for this event. Yeah. But this is a public place. Right, but my supervision is only to national. I know. It's a city sponsored event. It's a city sponsored event. It's a public place. It's a public place. I'm not going to argue my job is here. It's just a force call. That's it. Okay? Yes, yeah, so you can say whatever. Done. I don't think it's that hard to correct it. The one that you just quoted? You're being difficult, perhaps. No, I'm not. I, I, you're violating my rights. <coughs> I mean, I'm I can not. lay down my rights if I, if, you know, if that's if that what you do. Well, we'll let the judge decide. And the judge He already has decided once. It'll be a second time. You could, you could call your boss right now ask him Carnes versus He's Hampton. here. How are you doing? Okay. You go back, you look at the records, Barnes versus Hampton. I didn't want to lawsuit. Okay, what do you need, sir? I'm sorry for the I mean, the one that says I can be using that car be a 100 feet. The order does not say you can use that. I do. Yes, it does. Sir. Okay. I mean, I can read it to you. I got it right on my phone. Here's what can happen, okay? 100 feet. Here's what can happen. We're explaining to you right now. Paul. And I'm listening. Okay. In the... Um, in the event that it continues, what happens, you'll be cited and you can be arrested. And then it can be explained to you in a court of law. Okay? Those are your options right now. Everyone that's using an amplified system out here has a permit. That's why they have to get the mix. The people that have a permit here, they don't have a First Amendment. The people that have a permit here went through the proper channels. Okay. My position is not soliciting. I'm here based on the First Amendment okay. right. And, and that's fine. But it does not allow you to use an amplified system. It does. It does. Right. Say it versus New York, it does. Okay. Where? Call, call the city attorney. Say it versus New York. Okay. Supreme Court. Sir, this is not a debate. This is an informative thing for you. We're being very polite about it. We're being very cordial. And we're giving you <clears throat> the city code and we're asking you to adhere to it. Okay. It's a very simple request. So I've heard you out. If you if you would just simply go back and ask the city attorney, well, we already had to file a lawsuit against the city for this very issue. I understand. I don't like lawsuits. Okay. I understand. But this is going to be the second time. I'm sure these officers read you the city code. She did it. It says 100 feet. It says I can amplify be heard 100 feet. Okay. I'm telling you at this time, sir. I'm willing to turn it down to be heard no more than 100 feet. Okay. You can do whatever you have to do without an amplified system. That's not what the ordinance says. Okay. You're asking me to give up my rights. I'm asking you to abide by the city code. And I th that's what I'm doing. <coughs> as long as I'm less than 100 feet, I, sir, I'm not. It's, it's I'm not. Very, it's very simple. Okay. It's very simple. You, you have the right to be out here. You have the right to do whatever you're doing. Express whatever the expressions are. Okay? When it comes down to the amplified system, we've gone over this several times, and we're advising you of all. And we're, we're doing it very cool. Okay? All right. We, we don't want any problems for anyone. We want everybody out here to enjoy themselves. We want everybody to enjoy the event. Okay? So at this point, we are telling you not to use the amplified system. Okay. All right. I'll ask you one thing on, on video so, because it is going to go to court. Would you mind, you know, so you're my, my, Lieutenant my Bradford? Camera, my, my, my camera has it all. I'm recording. Yeah, but you may not be in court. Only the person in the site takes it. It's being recorded as well on my phone. How's that going to help me in court? It's there. So this is Kay Bradford. There's uh, <laughs> Queensberry. 
Hey, you're the boss, man. I'm a house man. And what's your name? John Farmer. They got it all on the side. Absolutely great. All right. Is there anything you want to ask him to speak to you about? Hey, uh, so, okay. May I ask you a question? Because um, I don't want to go in the circular argument. I, I understand. I used to work with force and police uh, as a civilian. So I know you said that the city ordinance, and I'm just trying to understand better, said something about 100 feet, right? And a dwelling unit, which would be, I guess, a house or somewhere where someone's this, living. This is something that we would quickly go over with. And... Uh, we tried to work this out in a very civil manner, uh -huh. and all we ask is not to use the amplified system. That's, okay. that's it. It's very simple. It's a very simple request. We're not asking you at this point to leave the property or to leave the area. We are allowing the freedom of speech. We are allowing everything to go accordingly. And it's a peaceful encounter. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, we, that's the only thing we're asking. Yeah. If you want to preach by word of mouth, that's great. If people want to stand here and listen, that's great. But there may be other people that don't want to hear. I'm well, sure there are people yeah. that's interested, and they'll come up and listen to you. They'll come up and question you. People do it with us when we're in uniform. People come up to us and ask us questions. They're interested in what we're about. Mm -hmm. And if people have an interest, then therefore they have the right to come up to you and talk to you, right? But there are other people that may not have an interest with the amplified system. That's what we have to take in consideration. I, and I think that's very considerate of others. Because if there was someone that was on the amplified system making comments that you didn't like, should you be forced to listen to it? I could walk away. Right. Right, you can walk away. And they have the or, freedom to do so can, but by the this First is a, Amendment. This is a public gathering. So therefore, if people want to inquire, people have that right. People can come up to you just like you and I talking right now. And if they have questions, they see what you're about, they have that right to come and talk to you. But there's a consideration of other people who may not want to hear the amplified system. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, we're allowing you to speak your word. We're allowing you to speak your piece. And anybody and everyone interested, I'm sure when you're out here, do people not come up and inquire? Through the courts have ruled on it. I'm asking a question. When people come up and inquire, do you have to speak to them over the PA system or do you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation? I would, I, would, I would repeat their question with the PA system as well as people here. But maybe people don't want that. They might want to speak to you person to person. So at this point, we're allowing that. That's not a problem. But the problem is, is that every other venue on here, all of the stages, if you wish to do so, you can go and petition or, or apply for a permit. I have the first permit. They're not, they're not exercising their first amendment rights. I am. There's a big difference. I'm not soliciting. I'm not selling. I'm simply using so it. Here, just, here, you know, here's using the situation. It my protection. You've been issued a summons. Okay. If you fail to cease to act, that can I just be... pull my amplifier away. Okay, that's great. So right now it's just us talking. Well, no, we'll be talking again in court. Sadly, I, I encourage you to talk to the city attorney about it. You refuse. Okay. okay. I've already talked to my attorney about it. I mean, you, you refuse to talk to the city attorney. It's already been to court. It, it got so bad they had to file a lawsuit against Hampton. Okay. But you, you just continue to go down the same path. All right. Well, if you have any other questions, we can go ahead and press on. You all have a good day. Well, the psalmist says... <laughs>